temperance is the high mastery of voluntarily resisting instead of reacting. It is the art of making conscious decisions instead of impulsive ones. As the Stoic state, temperance is one of the four essential virtues alongside wisdom, justice, and courage. It involves self-control and moderation, recognizing our limits and not letting our passions dominate us. It is the ability to remain calm in the face of challenges and respond in a balanced and measured way. In short, temperance is inner balance, the moderation that permeates all aspects of life. This virtue is of great importance as it is key to our ability to make good decisions, especially under pressure, to maintain serenity and mental clarity, and to effectively solve problems. If you are often controlled by your emotions, whether it's anger or enthusiasm, you face a serious issue of self-control, which is precisely why we turn to Stoicism to overcome this challenge. In this video, I want to be practical and direct. I will present 10 practical ways to apply the essential historical principles to cultivate temperance as one of your virtues. First, avoid being led by desires. True freedom doesn't come from excessive desires, but from control over them. Stoics believed that constant craving for pleasure and fear of pain make us prisoners enslaved by our passions, rather than having control over ourselves. The key here is to make decisions based on what is genuinely beneficial in the long run, rather than giving in to instant pleasures. The practice of delaying gratification can be a great starting point. Setting long-term goals and breaking them down into steps is an effective method to direct your actions instead of seeking immediate rewards. Remember, the journey is as important as the destination. If we apply this to any goal, we will see a more fulfilling life unfolding before us. Continue learning and growing. Philosophy doesn't promise anything external to humans. The way to achieve temperance through Stoicism is through constant learning and personal growth. Stoics believe that the path to virtue and wisdom is a continuous journey. We often make the mistake of embarking on the path, thinking about the destination and reward, when the reward should be the path itself. You can incorporate this principle into your life by dedicating time every day to learn something new or reflect on your experiences and what you can learn from them. This can not only help you grow as a person, but also provide a broader perspective to deal with life's challenges with greater balance and tranquility. Take a moment every day to recognize and be thankful for the things you have. It can be as simple as having a place to live, food on the table, or loved ones by your side. Keeping a gratitude journal can be a valuable tool for this practice. Write down three things you are grateful for each day. You can also take a walk in nature and consciously appreciate your surroundings. Develop a mindset of contentment by recognizing that what you have is already enough to bring happiness. Practicing gratitude meditation can be a powerful way to cultivate appreciation in your daily life. Moving on from the previous point, direct your mind towards gratitude and let go of the demand that everything happens according to your will. Learn to accept situations as they unfold and find happiness in the way things are. Gratitude for the Stoics is both a perspective and an active practice. It empowers us to focus on the positive rather than fixate on the negative. Remember to express your gratitude in tangible ways like saying thank you more often, writing thank you notes to those who have done something special for you, or simply taking a moment to appreciate the beauty of the world around you. Especially, distance yourself from people who pollute your sense of gratitude. Avoid those who spread negativity and complaints. Appreciate what you have, for true wealth lies more in enjoying what you have than in desiring what you don't. The Stoics valued simplicity and moderation by cultivating gratitude for what we already have, rather than constantly desiring more. Develop the ability to deal with challenges, as Seneca taught us, Difficulties awaken genius. Historical teachings remind us that obstacles and setbacks are opportunities for learning and growth. Developing resilience is an effective way to incorporate this concept into your life. This involves facing difficulties with serenity and balance, viewing setbacks as chances for improvement rather than personal failures. 
Developing problem-solving skills and embracing a mindset of progress are also part of this process, as you realize you can learn and evolve from mistakes and challenges. Adopt a growth-oriented mindset to face setbacks as opportunities to mature and learn. Practice resilience by cultivating skills and strategies that help you overcome adversities. Live in the present. Remember that you don't perceive reality as it is, but as you are. An important aspect of Stoicism is the idea of living in the present. Much of our anxieties and worries stem from regretting the past or fearing the future. By focusing on the here and now, we can free ourselves from these concerns and maintain calm and serenity. Developing mindfulness can be an effective way to practice this concept. This could involve dedicating time each day to focus on the present, perhaps through meditation or simply paying attention to the sensations of the moment. To do this, avoid multitasking. Try to do one thing at a time and give it your full attention. Practice mindfulness through formal meditation or by paying attention to your daily actions and the conversations you have with others. Practice empathy. Life is interpretation and the Stoics remind us that everyone is dealing with their own challenges. By practicing empathy we can better understand others and respond in a way that maintains peace and harmony. To put this into practice you can try putting yourself in others' shoes before judging or reacting. This could involve pausing and considering another person's perspective before responding or actively seeking opportunities to learn about experiences and viewpoints different from your own. By practicing this principle and becoming a more empathetic person, you will gradually better understand viewpoints rather than becoming irritated or reacting in a negative and toxic way. Accept what you cannot change. It's not the facts that disturb men, but their judgment of the facts, as Epictetus said. This is a fundamental element of Stoicism, mentioned several times in my videos. The idea that we should accept things we cannot change and focus on what we can influence will be crucial for living a serene life. This principle can be practiced in various ways. One of them is learning to identify the difference between what we can change through our actions and what is completely beyond our control. A very clear and simple example to understand is the weather. We can never control whether it will be stormy or sunny, so worrying about it is a useless waste of energy. Instead, we can focus on how we would prepare and respond to different weather conditions. Another way to practice this principle is through cognitive therapy techniques that help us recognize and question irrational or harmful thoughts. Learning to accept what we cannot change will free us from a major source of worry and allow us to live in a more serene and balanced way. Accept your strengths and weaknesses and acknowledge that you are human and therefore imperfect. Observe how nature accepts and adapts to changes. This can inspire you to do the same. Prioritize your mental health and share your experiences and feelings with trusted friends. Take small steps to overcome setbacks. Start with modest actions to overcome them. Recognize that adversities are part of life and treat yourself kindly during these challenging moments. Practice detachment. Poverty does not consist in the decrease of possessions, but in the increase of avarice, as Epictetus said. Detachment in the context of Stoicism means freeing yourself from excessive dependence on external things for your own happiness. It's not about rejecting all pleasure or material possessions, but not allowing your inner peace to solely depend on them. You can practice detachment in various ways. One way could be through meditation, where you visualize your desires and then imagine freeing yourself from them. Another way is through simplifying your life, reducing the number of possessions you have, and focusing your attention on experiences and relationships, rather than material things. Because we often possess more than we may deserve or need, by valuing simplicity and moderation, we liberate ourselves from the ceaseless pursuit of novelty and improvement. Lastly, but entirely necessary, is self-care. First and foremost, you must maintain your body in good condition. Otherwise, the mind cannot be strong and healthy. Stoicism doesn't forget the interconnectedness between the body and mind acting as one. Keeping our body in good shape is a fundamental part of achieving temperance. 
from exercising regularly to eating a healthy diet and ensuring you get enough rest. It also involves taking care of your mental health, whether through meditation, therapy, or simply setting aside time to relax and engage in activities you truly enjoy. Remember, it's disrespectful not to care for your physical self in terms of both health and appearance. Find an activity you genuinely enjoy and commit to doing it regularly. Historical temperance is a path to inner tranquility and peace. It focuses on understanding and controlling our emotions and desires rather than being controlled by them. Through the practice of temperance, we learn to live according to our values and respond rather than react to life's challenges. The happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts, as Marcus Aurelius said. Often what we consistently think, we ultimately bring to reality. Here are two more videos full of historical wisdom that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Until next time.